Purism Librem 5 Review Purism Librem 5 promises more privacy in a smartphone-driven world. It comes with open-source Linux software, a modular design, and a removable battery, giving users some extra options. It features 3GB RAM, 32GB eMMC storage, a 13MP rear camera, and an 8MP front camera. The left side of the phone has three hardware kill switches that power off the camera and microphone, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth modems, and the baseband modem. Specifications of Purism Librem 5 Design The first thing reviewers noticed was that the Librem 5 was incredibly heavy, especially considering it was plastic and they weren't fans. With so many lightweight options out there, reviewers weren't sure whether the compromise for more privacy was worth it. Screen Librem 5 boasts a unique and robust design. The device features a 5.27-inch HD display surrounded by sizable bezels, giving it a hefty feel when held in the hand. Hardware Hardware components, including NXP IMX 8M quad processor, 3GB RAM, and 32GB storage provide ample power for everyday tasks. Performance The Librem 5's general performance is decidedly average. Despite the sharp display and impressive hardware specs, the leading software is slow and some basic features have significant room for improvement. However, call quality is okay. The network connection appears to be allowed. The phone quickly connected to the local Wi-Fi router. However, connectivity with other devices was less convincing. Battery life. The Librem 5's battery is a clear reminder of its beta status. Despite having less hardware than a standard iPhone or Samsung, the battery loses power at an almost impressive rate. At current settings, a charge lasts three, five hours. Software. It has a browser, email, and software installer, along with the standard phone, messaging, and contact tools. You'll also find a text editor and terminal, a document viewer, a calculator, a settings app, and a usage monitor. Along with blocking browser trackers, Librem 5's kill switch is a significant privacy bonus. In most cases, this feature works well, but activating and deactivating it quickly makes it difficult for the phone to cope. Subsequent lockups can only be resolved through a complete reboot. Perhaps one of the main concerns with pre-installed software is the keyboard. The icon in the bottom right allows you to run it from any screen. But the text input implementation is poor. It's hard to make sure you're hitting the right keys. There is no swipe option. One of the main selling points of the Librem 5 crowdfunding was Fusion support, or the ability to use your phone like a PC. But ultimately, there isn't much on offer. Connecting the device to your phone via Bluetooth did not enable convergence, nor did the USB-C hub with HDMI. Subscribe our YouTube channel for latest updates of smartphones.